Hey, how's everybody doing? Uh, today's video I'm pretty excited about. Um, right behind me we have a 75 gallon tank. Uh, it holds my Tegu Lizard. And then upstairs we have a 100 gallon stock tank. Uh, so if you remember my last video, we talked about moving the guppies out of there, having some problems with the zinc in the metal it's giving off. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna give an overview of how everything looks right now, and then we'll go from right there. So right here we have the 75 gallon tank up top, uh, custom stand I built, we have two 10 gallon tanks below. Uh, we're breeding some guppies there, we have lots of fry, I'll show them real quick. Lots of baby guppies down here. So the plan is to have uh, two breeder tanks and then I'll have a colony breeding tank as well. But as the females drop their fry, we're gonna bring the babies up into this tank. We're gonna grow them out. And then as they get bigger, we'll jump over here, have some space. We're gonna put the stock tank there, I think as of now. And we have a 55 gallon tank here, which is mostly females. And then jumping way over there, in that corner, we have a male heavy tank. So plan on selling some fish, but as we're growing up, that's kind of the cycle. They'll go from the 10 gallon tank to the 75 to the 55 to sale, rinse, repeat. Jumping upstairs, just so you guys got a feel for a little before and after. Uh, so here's the 100 gallon stock tank. I uh, was really enjoying this, but after about three months, we're starting to run into a couple problems here. Uh, I know I could drain it and spray it or put a pond liner in there, but I think they look a lot better than 75 gallon tank. And that tank is starting to outgrow it and I do plan on moving them outside in the summertime. So just so you can see what it looks like, this is gonna get drained, move it downstairs. All right, checking back in, we got the tank drained. Uh, over here you can see we have all the guppies and plecos in a bucket. So still a bunch of fish in there. The plecos are looking pretty good, so I'm excited to grow those up. We got some albinos, calicos, uh, standards, bunch of moss, but yep. Ready to move them downstairs and get this going. Last look at the Tegu tank. Uh, give this guy his last meal before we move him. See how he goes. He's a super aggressive eater. <laughs> He's getting massive. If you guys ever saw my uh, Instagram post of this guy, he is getting big. Come on, buddy. He usually bull rushes his food. Here he comes. <laughs> He'll be a little bit easier to handle too once he's got a full belly. He gets a little hangry. <laughs> Alright, let him finish up and let's uh got the tank drain. I'm gonna start moving everything over. Blue says hi too. Say hi blue. Close enough. Hello. Fast forward to tomorrow. So tank cleared up pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna fill up the rest of the tank. Don't wanna do too much new water all at once. Uh, but yeah, it's looking clear. I thought I'd take a quick little video before I put some more water in here and it's probably gonna stir up again, but almost done and we'll uh, wrap this up, guys. Over here, we have the stock tank all set up. Got Buddy hanging out in his spotlight. Looking good over here, happy the way this came out. Here we have it guys. All right, so we got the 75 gallon tank fully set up now. Um, take a little look closer. Uh, Plecos are doing well. We got the babies eating some wafers right now. Uh, so here we have like two generations or two different batches of plecos, um, variety of guppies, the ones that are still doing well. Uh, today we are going to add some more babies to this tank. Uh, and then the plan is to sell some from the sale tanks this weekend and then grow these guys up for another month or so, separate the males and females. 
uh, kind of get a little bit of a system going here with uh, breeding the guppies, selling the guppies. Uh, if you guys are in the Pittsburgh area, south of Pittsburgh, uh, you guys can comment below, message me, uh, maybe get together. I'm selling some guppies. Uh, sometimes I sell pears and stuff for a little bit more, but honestly just selling kind of a quantity at like dollar a piece. Uh, I've been selling guppies here locally. Got some assorted fancy guppies. They're hardy, they're used to our water. Uh, so if you guys are interested, just comment below. Got some plecos right now as well. I have a lot of adult males for sale. And then the rest of them I'm still kind of just growing out. Um, but really happy with the variety I'm getting in the pairs I have. So I have some that are producing calicos, the red marbles, um, some black long fins, some albinos. They're all coming from one pair. And I have multiple pairs breeding. I'm growing out some reds as well trying to hold them back get some more adults out of them so that's going to be kind of a slower process but yeah really happy with this tank right now let's go ahead and look at the 10 gallons below uh show you the fry there down there and then we're going to move them up into this tank today all right so zooming in on these tanks i'll give you a little overview of what we have and then i'm going to go ahead and catch them out we'll release them and we'll wrap this video up today uh so this tank here we got some nice big breeder females lots of babies um, too many in the 10 gallon tank for the size that they're putting on. So we're gonna move them up to, into the 75. Um, but I sold the males that were breeding here with the females and I brought in some new males. Uh, nice little tuxedo yellow guppy. And then I have a nice fancy male over here as well. These are ones in the last six months I've started to produce. Uh, just kind of through selective breeding over time. Uh, they have a nice uh, rounded off tail for the most part. Really nice color. Uh, i trying to throw a picture in here because uh, they're super hard to take photos of. But a little tip for you guys, if you ever need to take photos of your fish, take them real early in the morning whenever you just turn the lights on. Uh, the fish are still a little bit less active and they're not moving around so much before they're real hungry. Uh, so that's the best time to take a photo. I'll throw that in here. But we're gonna catch all these out. There's probably a good 75 guppies in here. Over in this tank, we got some uh, more guppies here. This male I really like. I uh, showed him a few months ago. He's finally kind of uh, matured. Uh, nice color. He's got more of the delta, longer tail. Put a focus in for us, but um, really happy with this guy, letting him breed with the females. Uh, we got a bunch of babies. A couple were starting to actually mature. You can see some males in here which I don't want them breeding with the females. So we'll separate them, kind of keep my hand picks in this tank, but lots of fry down here. So without taking too long, let me go ahead and catch these guys out and I'll show you me releasing them into the 75. Look at all those guppies. All right guys, so we just caught them from both tanks and we only got maybe six females uh, and they're with other fish, uh, not going crazy trying to add hiding places but we do got moss and just some simple plants in there and just hundreds of baby guppies in there so if you guys keep uh, working at it you're trying to breed guppies kind of breed for profit uh make your hobby pay for itself uh just give it some time if i grow these guys up for two three more months uh probably got 200 bucks there of dollar guppies so it works if you work so if you guys like the content definitely uh comment below let me know what you guys think but let's go ahead, add these guys in here. And they will be much happier in the 75 gallon tank. <laughs> Give it a quick rinse. If you guys aren't already uh, following the channel, go below, hit that bell, subscribe to the channel, uh, stay up to date, follow me along this journey of uh, breeding fish for profit and kind of all these different uh, projects I'm working on. Uh, see how the fish room and the house evolves. Uh, excited to do a pond this summer. Uh, so that'll be something to look forward to. And then keep up to date and watch these guys grow. I'll be doing some videos on them as they start uh, developing some color and bigger tails, all that kind of stuff. 
Uh, thank you guys all for watching. One last thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to show an update. If you guys saw my short uh, video the other day, I got a bunch of baby plecos out of the cave. I uh, took a picture and someone wanted to see them. Uh, so I'm getting back to that one person. If I got their name, I'll throw it below here on the bottom of the screen. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out those uh, plecos before we wrap it up. This is the 55 gallon tank. I added those plecos into the other day. We're also breeding the super reds in here. Uh, the male actually might be setting some more eggs. He's fanning pretty good. Maybe I'll try to get a flashlight in there. Um, but if you look around, let's kind of just zoom through the tank. Uh, I can see a little albino baby right there. Just scrolling through. Here's a bunch of those uh, calicos and super reds. Got multiple generations in here. These guys are getting algae wafers and I feed a little heavy on flake food, uh, especially early on. You can see there's one of the, the commons or the blacks, but they're still doing well in this tank. Uh, make sure there's always food available. That's the only time they're not really gonna do well uh, is when you have larger fish preying on them, maybe a filter that's sucking them up or just not enough food for them. It's another little red guy right there behind the guppy. I think having gravel in the tank uh, helps sometimes or just having an established tank that kind of builds up some malm on the bottom of the tank. Uh, that's very beneficial for the plecos. This guy's gonna turn out to be a pretty cool one. Unless the guppies aren't in the way. Might even turn into a long fin, that'd be exciting. I uh, haven't had any red or red marble long fins in a while. I had a couple probably six months or a year ago and I kept selling them here and there just kind of doing favors for people and thinking I had a couple more and I think I ran out of them so got to make sure I hold on to some of these guys but quick little look at those uh plecos they're all munching down you got some of the older guys here probably three five months old super slow growing fish the reds only get about three inches or so they stay on the smaller side but yep thanks again for watching guys make sure you like the video if you liked it Comment below if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, see you guys later and check out some of my older videos.